So for March 2017, the first time ever, we have the upper as our bike of the month. So the upper, a whole new frame. Maybe it looks like it's pretty similar to the up. And of course, in the way you use the bike and where you can ride it and the tire clearance, all of that is the same as the up. But we've completely changed the layup. We've gone to flat mount, made a lot of little tweaks. And so we're uh, very happy with it. It took a bit of time, but uh, it's ready now. So of course, the big difference, the frame, 880 grams for the medium, super light. And uh, the other point is the U-turn, uh, our new fork, which is also super light. And together it allows you to make a really, really nice gravel bike. This setup has pretty standard NV components, 7.1 kilograms. So when you do a couple of tweaks, you can definitely get it under that 6.8 kilogram UCI limit. Not that there's a UCI limit for gravel bikes, but still it's a kind of a nice target to have. And one of the big changes, of course, is flat mount. We're not necessarily a big fan of flat mount brakes, but uh, there are some advantages to it. You make it a little bit lighter if you do things smartly. And especially on the fork, we've made a big change. So normally, a flat mount front brake has an adapter that allows you to flip the adapter and change the brake for a 140 and 160 millimeter disc. That's what the whole industry uses, but to me it really makes no sense because, you know, for a gravel bike, you never want to put a 140 millimeter rotor in the front. It's always 160. So we don't need that adjustment. So we threw away the adapter and mount the brake directly onto the fork. So we save the weight of the adapter. We also make the whole system stiffer in the braking. There's less spongy feeling because of the adapter. And uh, it looks cool too, because now the bolts come out the front of the, of the fork, which I think is uh, quite a nice. Then we've made it up with custom carbon tie axles, front and rear, super, super light. So overall, uh, you save about 400 grams between the upper and the up as a whole system. That's it, we'll get back to the detailed components and some nice uh, photos in the next couple of weeks. But uh, here it is, the first ever upper as bike of the month.